Hi guys! In the previous episode of Denim Talk, I briefly showed you this pair of jeans. This is my own uh, pair of BDD 707 Special 1. And it's really time to wash it now because I've been wearing it for over a year. In this video I'm going to uh, explain you why it's now time to wash it. And I'm also going to explain you uh, how I do this. So, as you can see there's already a lot going on on this pair. Uh, a lot of uh, different indigo nuances, dark colors, uh, light colors. You can see the whiskers set in already pretty, pretty well. A lot of 3D. The upper thighs are really greasy. That's one of the main reasons uh, I believe it's, it's really ready to get washed now. After wash, the dirt that's in here will pull out a lot of indigo, uh, excess indigo uh, also out of the fabric which will create a very high, nice, uh, white contrast look. Um, you can see the honeycombs already set in. You can see a very distinctive pattern with bright blue colors where the honeycombs are. And w another huge reason why it's really time to wash this pair is the crotch. It's still uh, okay, but it's getting quite thin. And by washing, uh, it will stabilize all the fibers. So it means that the uh, the crutch will uh, will last a bit longer before it blows out. You can see the same dirt also on the back pockets. It's really shiny and greasy on the butt area. It's much bluer already. And I really like this um, this dark line you can see outside of the pocket. It shows how much the denim has faded already from the beginning so before you wash them there are three important things to do the first thing is you have to button up the jeans so close all the buttons then the second step is to turn them inside out turning the jeans uh, inside out will help uh, avoid getting unwanted creases on the outside like these vertical uh, bad wash effects what we call them um, yeah so it it protects the indigo from the outside a little bit more and then the third the third thing you need to do or at least you don't need to do it but it's something that I would recommend and I always do is measure the inseam so measuring the inseam will be done from the crotch along the seam till the bottom and the reason why you want to do that is because after wash when the jeans are still warm and wet you immediately have to measure the inseam again and any any shrinkage that had, has occurred you can you can stretch it back and that way you don't have a uh, too short pair of jeans after wash so it's really time to wash these now see you in a bit so, remember, before the wash, you close all buttons, turn the jeans inside out and measure the inseam. Then, make sure to set up your washing machine as follows. Set it at 40 degrees Celsius for the best result. You may even turn it up to 60 degrees for higher contrast fading, but be aware the jeans will shrink a bit more. Include a little bit of detergent without bleach, preferably for dark clothing. You need some to get the jeans clean, obviously. Switch off all tumble dry functions, as this may ruin your fades. The jeans will come out of the machine soaking wet, so you need to hang it to dry for at least a full day. By any means, do not put your jeans in the dryer. So, the jeans are washed, they are nice and fresh. I've been wearing them for a couple of days to uh, set in the creases again, and now I want to show you the results. So, here you have the result. Um, as you can see, the jeans turned out uh, really really nice they're super bright at the upper th upper thighs uh, there's a lot of really nice contrast uh, at the at the whiskers at the top also here at the at the hidden six pocket you will see that the, the knees have faded really nicely with some uh, some honeycombs coming uh, to the front and then also on the back side you can see the nice pattern of uh, of the honeycombs as well you see some little uh, 
little damages from the inside but actually I really like this uh, way of evolving so another cool thing that you see here is uh, the start of the roping effect um, it occurs uh, due to that it's been made on a Union special chain stitch machine which uh, creates a rolled hem it's a really nice vintage effect that you uh, you will find on old Levi's as well and then uh, on the back side you will see uh, the same bright, really nice and soft. It's a soft touch, bright, nice color. It's clean now, um, ready to uh, to wear it for uh, at least uh, another year. And I'm really, really happy with uh, with the result. Thanks for watching. If you have any more questions about how to wash your jeans, just send us a message. See you next time.